very point when we hurt another person, we can say that we've lost our empathy, where we've lost that double focus. We're no longer focusing on ourselves and the other person, but we're just focusing on ourselves. Clearly, there might be some individuals who hurt others because they've got a permanent inability to take that double focus and to keep in mind how the other person will feel. Ashley, in your own time, can you tell us exactly what happened? I don't know where to start. Um, I've been shopping at my local supermarket. I deal with people with personality disorder, with severe mental illness, and of course, some people with high traits of psychopathy. He said, give me your wallet. And I was so scared, my hands were shaking. When watching the video, how worried did you feel? Okay, not at all. My colleagues and I uh, developed a measure that we call VERA, the Victim Empathy Rating Assessment, which um, is a series of tape-recorded interviews with victims. And next thing I knew, I felt metal against my throat, and he had a knife, and I was just so scared. And he said... Psychopaths, the difficulties they have with empathy uh, are really very specific because they may have good understanding of other people's thoughts and feelings. They can recognize that their victim is in pain, for example, but may not have the natural response of wanting to alleviate somebody's distress uh, or caring about the other person's state of mind. So for that reason, psychopaths, uh, they lead the scientist to uh, disentangle at least two components of empathy, the recognition part from the response part. And clearly the recognition part might be intact in, in someone who is a psychopath, but the response element might be what's compromised. You need to just put this on your finger. This is going to measure your skin responses and your heart rate. Okay. One of the things that we're doing is we're connecting them to um, equipment that will measure physiological responses. So we'll be able to validate what the offender is telling us against recordings of physiological response such as skin conductance and heart rate. He got really angry and so it punched me in the face. Okay, how do you think she was feeling? How distressed did she feel? How disgusted did she feel? How sorry did you feel? Um, That's really good. You click it there. Yeah. When you directed people to think specifically about how the victim felt, their empathy um, capacity increased. So they became, they, they became more empathic. And that's very important because it's a marker for intervention. It shows that they have the capacity to change. Some people, though, didn't. They were the people who were higher on psychopathic traits. There is a high risk of um, people with high psychopathic traits engaging in criminal behaviours. Um, but there are probably many people around. I mean, it's, psychopathy falls along a continuum, a normal continuum of behavior from low, medium to high. And there will be many people with some traits of psychopathy um, who are functioning very well in everyday life. And in fact, it may be functional for some people to have some traits of psychopathy.